Welcome to Sandwiches of History. Today from 1001 Sandwiches of 1936, we're gonna be making the peanut butter and bacon sandwich. Yep. First thing we have to do is moisten some crumbled bacon with ketchup. Doesn't say how much, just moisten it. Next, we spread our bread with peanut butter. Now remember, this is 1936. Sweetened peanut butter didn't show up until 1955. I am using an all natural, but flavor wise, I don't think it's gonna be terribly different than a uh, shelf stable one of the era. Now we simply put our moistened bacon onto the peanut butter. It's that easy. Okay, let's give this bacon and peanut butter sandwich a go. The bacon and peanut butter go together so well, as you probably already know. And the ketchup's just kind of there. It's a little bit of a tomato flavor, a little sweetness, but it's not a sweetened ketchup, so it's not overpowering. I do want to plus this up. I'm going to put on some of this chin su, which is a Vietnamese hot sauce, and a little cilantro. Why not? Okay, let's give this bacon and peanut butter sandwich plussed up with the Vietnamese chin su hot sauce and cilantro a go. That chin su is spicy, but it's also delicious and a little bit sweet. Not unlike uh, sriracha, but different. It's really good. And of course, cilantro is bringing what cilantro brings to the party. It works well with the bacon, works well with the peanut butter, works well with the chin su. Mm. So the original bacon and peanut butter sandwich, hey, it was not bad. I'm gonna give that a seven and a half. Um, plus up with the chin su Vietnamese hot sauce and the cilantro. That's like a nine now. That is absolutely delicious. I am definitely gonna finish that and I would make this again in a hot second. <laughs> All right, see you tomorrow. <laughs>